Phil Flynn, what's going on with those commodities, Phil Flynn? I mean, you know, fragile commodities. That's her fra fragile economy right now is bringing back the price of gold right now. Peter Schiff is probably shaking in his seat right now because Ben Bernanke said that uh, the inflation is not a pressing problem right now. Well, guess what? Uh, as expected, Ben Bernanke really tried to downplay all the enthusiasm that we saw from the better than expected jobs number last week and said, hey, hold on a second. Right now, this economy is still very fragile. Don't get ahead of yourself right now. That did give a big boost to the gold market, which was down over $20 right now. It's only down $10 right now. We also saw a shift in the interest rate futures as well as some of that expectations about a, a quicker than expected interest rate increase are being backed off a little bit. Uh, so another wild swing, Liz and Dave here. They were living and dying on every word from the Fed chairman right now and a lot of movement here and it's not over yet. Phil, is there a specific thing that you think the traders heard in Ben Bernanke's speech that made gold reverse? Okay, so if at some point we do start to see interest rates get tightened, wouldn't that be, I guess, gold negative and dollar positive? Absolutely it would be. But I think that uh, the message that traders got out of the, the total speech was that interest rates probably aren't going to be going up anytime soon, that the economy is still very fragile, uh, and uh, he, he's, he's not worried about inflation. So the traders that got back out of that carry trade are going to get back into that trade because with that kind of uh, a backdrop to all of his comments, uh, there's really nothing that is going to change that dramatically. So listen, hey, if rates come up sooner, than the market expects, we're going to see this place absolutely explode. But based off those comments, traders don't believe it's going to happen quite as fast as we thought I after see. the market closed on Friday. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Phil, stay right there, though. Has the bubble sure. burst on gold or just taking a pause that refreshes? <laughs> Let's bring an all-star panel in with us. Joining us are the aforementioned Peter Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital, and our own Sandra Smith as well. Well, Peter, uh, we were talking to you and your brother last week, and Market Watch blames the gold bulls for indeed this drop in price in gold saying you guys had talked it up too much do you agree or disagree with that I don't think it's been talked up enough. I think gold's still too cheap. It's not a bubble at all. There's nothing to pop. It's, it's a bull market, and there's a lot of reasons for that. But, of course, whenever you have a bull market, the biggest moves are to the downside. They're, they're very scary. Uh, they, they flush out the speculators. They keep a lot of people nervous and on the sidelines. Uh, they cause people to talk about, is it a bubble? Is it, uh, but you know, people should be buying gold. They should be buying a lot of gold. It's going to go a lot higher for many, many years. And rate hikes are not going to derail it. I mean, if you remember, when when Greenspan first started raising interest rates in that measured pace when he lifted rates from 1% up to 5%. Gold rose the entire time period. The only way we're going to get gold to respond negatively to higher rates, if we get Bernanke being very aggressive, if he raises interest rates by 100 basis points, 200 basis points, and really goes to tight money, that might temporarily really undermine gold. But I see nothing that says that we're going to get a hawk uh, out, of, out, of, uh, out of Bernanke. He's a dove. Okay, we are looking at just one week. And, of course, Friday we saw a pretty significant pullback. But, Peter, overall futures for gold have gained 17 out of the past 21 weeks. So the question now arises, uh, short of what we had last week, even before this big fall, which was a weaker dollar, and suddenly now the dollar picks up its head, what will propel gold to the heights that you believe it can actually reach with the backdrop of an economic environment and all that's been out there? Yeah. Well, remember, gold's not doing anything, right? The price of gold remains the same. It's just the value of paper currencies that's diminished. And what's going to diminish the value of the dollar are all the bailouts, all the stimulus. You know, Barack Obama, I was listening to his comments saying the economy is improving. It's not improving, or the economy is growing. Our problems are growing. The real economy is, continues to be undermined by these policies. But if you look around the world, look at the buyers for gold. Central banks are no longer sellers, they're buyers. Gold mining companies are no longer selling forward. Individuals are now buying gold and discovering gold as a store of value. So as governments around the world, particularly in the United States, undermine the value of paper currency by printing too much and keeping interest rates too low, 
gold has to keep rising. And, well, and, and, there, and Sandra, to, to that very point, in fact, we saw gold down much further. It's still down about 10 bucks. It was down a lot more than that earlier today until Bernanke tried to speak in a confident way about yeah. the U.S. dollar, and he had exactly the opposite effect. And that's exactly what sent gold back off of those lows of the session. I know Phil will probably back this up, but I got on the phone during Bernanke's speech, and I was calling traders down the floor. I said, what is going on? Why is gold bouncing back so hard on, the, on his words? Two things were consistently pointed out to me from the traders down there. One is that Bernanke said that while we're recovering, we, quote, still have a long way to go. What did that do? That dispelled all those hopes that were out there or what sent gold so, down so hard on Friday that the Federal Reserve would soon be raising interest rates. By saying that, it indicated that that will not be the case, as that was certainly gold positive. And he was extremely optimistic about inflation. Some guys saying he was too optimistic about inflation. At the end of his comments, he actually said that inflation may go down. So not only is this just you know gold positive, but most of this is based on dollar, U.S. dollar negative. These Peter, comments do the brand. other metals follow suit, meaning the platinums and the golds of the world? We've certainly seen silver uh, raising its head as well lately, but is it just a gold story here? No, I mean, silver hasn't even made a new high yet uh, based on where it was last year, but all the metals are going to go up. The price of everything is going to go up. I mean, when... when